a Muslim. I was. Like you, I came to this mission penniless, and they told me about the Savior. The Savior. <laughs> if only it were true. It is true. Jesus said, All that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. But Jews don't believe in Jesus. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. How on earth did you come to believe that Jesus is the Savior? God's grace, through believing God's word. But even the faith to believe comes from God. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 2, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Why doesn't the Hebrew Bible mention Jesus? It does, but you must be born again to see it. Jesus said, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Let me show you a verse from the Old Testament, Isaiah chapter 49, where God is speaking of the Messiah. It is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserved of Israel. I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles that thou mayest be my salvation unto the end of the earth. Do you think your Jesus, Yeshua, would help me? I know he would. There at the mission, the former Muslim led the Israeli Jew to simple faith in Christ. Two days later, the mission called me because I too am a Jew who believes in Yeshua, Jesus, and I was teaching at a Bible institute in South Jersey. I was surprised to learn that an Israeli was in the homeless shelter, that he had professed faith in Christ, and that he had been a colonel in the Israeli Air Force. We happened to have a Messianic Israeli student, and we sent him to fetch Hezi, who was slim, stood straight, and spoke excellent English. He told me a story. Yes, my name Hezi is a form of Ezekiel. I thought so. My situation is untenable, so I am at your service. The Hebrew man who brought you here has offered to let you stay with him while you recuperate. Uh, Meno? Yes. He and his wife are living in missionary housing while he's in Bible school. I would like very much to join the Bible studies. I'm teaching on the book of Hebrews. You're welcome to sit in on the lectures. Meno told me they have a, a one-year-old daughter, the same age as my grandson. Oh, you have a grandson? Yes. My oldest son is a cardiologist who trained in this country. Uh, I haven't seen them for a long time. I haven't spent much time with my youngest son either. Well, the, the Lord can bring reconciliation. Yes. Now I know God had a purpose in letting me survive the heart attack. And your wife? I love my wife so much that there's never been another woman in my life. She is a wonderful mother to our children, but she may have divorced me by now, and I cannot blame her. I, I've hurt her deeply. From that first meeting, I developed a special affection for Hezi. Living with an Israeli family and speaking his native language was good for him. He also said it in the Bible studies, soaking up God's truth. You know, when I commanded the 101st Commandos, I often used the Tenach in lecturing my officers. In what way? The Hebrew Bible, the Old Testament, tells of battles fought on the same ground we had to defend. So there are valid tactical lessons to be learned from those accounts. More than once, we relied on the experiences of those ancient Israelites to guide us. Another thing, the Old Testament speaks again and again of Jesus, the Messiah. That's true, but how do you know? The evidence is clear that Jesus himself is the Lord God. Jesus or Yeshua is a Greek transliteration of the more ancient form, Joshua. And Joshua is an abbreviation of two words, which in the original Hebrew mean Yeshua saves or Jesus saves. The name identifies him as Jehovah, the Savior. That's why the angel instructed Mary to name the child Jesus and said, For he shall save his people. You're right, Hezi. I should let you lecture the class. I find passages in the Old Testament that clearly refer to the coming Messiah where the Hebrew word is Jehovah. That's true. And in my Bible, each time the word Jehovah is translated as Lord in English, it's printed with a large capital L followed by O-R-D in small letters. When the Hebrew word Adonai is translated as Lord, it is printed with a capital L followed by three small letters. 
At least one Jewish Bible in English does the same. I love Isaiah chapter 48, where, where all three persons of the Godhead are proclaimed. God says, I have not spoken in secret from the beginning. From the time that it was, there am I. And now the Lord God and his Spirit have sent me. Thus saith the Lord thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I am the Lord thy God, which teacheth thee to profit, which leadeth thee by the way that thou shouldest go. <laughs> Amen! <laughs> I am altogether satisfied that Jesus of Nazareth is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He was God with us, and he is Messiah. Let me add something here, Hesse. God is not finished with the children of Israel. The promises he made are not dependent on the obedience of Israel as a nation, but on the sovereign grace of God. He will fulfill those promises when the Lord returns. I want to be ready when he returns. I want to serve the one who stooped so low to save a sinner like me. Truly a Levite, Hezi soaked in everything, attending the evening as well as the daytime classes. His strength slowly returned, and he began taking brisk walks around the campus to exercise his heart. During every spare moment, he read, devouring six or eight books a week, scholarly books on theology, the Talmud, and Jewish commentators. Then he made a decision that I thought was risky. I'm going back to Atlantic City. <laughs> Excuse the pun, but isn't that a gamble? Not at all. I want to visit my Arab brother who led me to Christ. If he can resist temptation, so can I. Well, I'm glad you feel up to making the trip. Perhaps I can be useful there, now that I am well again. Don't forget, you're only operating on 30% of your heart. Trust me, I can't forget. Stay away from the casinos, Hazy. The Towers of Satan? <laughs> they hold nothing for me. So, Brother Hezi, you have grown much in the faith. Not nearly enough. <laughs> He must increase, but I must decrease. That is true discipleship. We've worked so hard at changing ourselves and the world around us when, when all we need is to be one with the Savior, to stay in the light as he is in the light. No wonder Jesus prayed, Holy Father, keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me that they may be one as we are. I can't get enough of God's word. Now you know why he said ye must be born again. It's the only way. Yeshua Jesus is the chief cornerstone of Scripture. I wish my people were not so blind. Or mine. The Bible says that blindness in part is happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles become in. I have to tell my people. I have to let them know the truth. As he worked in the mission warehouse, arranging and distributing clothing that was donated by caring Christians, one night... He decided to face temptation head-on and walked into a casino. He told me about it when he returned to our mission in South Jersey. Yes, I walked right in. That was definitely a gamble. I had to know if I was truly free of temptation. And were you? Uh, an old friend was there at one of the tables. He had considerable winnings and mm. he pushed $10,000 worth of chips over to me. What did you do? I pushed them back and told him I had found something infinitely better. <laughs> Amen. I want to resume my studies here and... Help out in the shipping department. Great. They can always use help. As he worked several hours a day, and his forceful personality alienated some of the staff, but he was often right in his observations. One day he came to me visibly shaken because he'd learned from a distant relative that his wife had divorced him to marry someone else. His hopes for a reconciliation were dashed. Within a few days, however, his faith surged again. I think I'll go to a mission in North Carolina. It's a wonderful opportunity for you. Yes. As the Lord leads, I want to write to help my Jewish people recognize their Messiah in Jesus. God has revealed his truth to you in a remarkable way. I can also teach Old Testament scripture to the missionaries there. As he moved to the mission family in North Carolina, there he studied and wrote and taught Old Testament scripture. He also found friends among the Cherokee Indians whose reservation surrounds the mission property. Early in 1990, Hezi drove from North Carolina to New Jersey to visit. We talked mostly of Israel and the part he could play in the ministry there. I've come to say goodbye. I'm going back to Israel in a few weeks. Have you decided where to locate? In Haifa. I'll headquarter high atop Mount Carmel. 
Well, that's where Elijah confronted the 450 prophets of Baal. A good place to do battle for the Lord. The battle is not yours, but God's. Good thing, Marv, because I don't know if I'll make it. My heart is growing weaker. The Lord is just dragged, has he? Yes, but it's not the angina now. It's heart failure. I can't tell the difference. If I don't make it, I'd like to be buried at the little Cherokee church down there. On the Sunday morning, the missionaries came to take Hezi to church. They found him lying on the floor, dressed and ready to go. On the bed was his Bible, open to the book of Joshua, Israel's greatest general. Hezi's daughter flew in from Israel, and his eldest son came from Connecticut to attend the funeral. They decided to bury Hezi on a hill in the Indian reservation, next to the little church he had learned to love. Why is Beno's name among my father's possessions? Your father stayed with him after he was released from the hospital. Meno helped him recuperate. I went all through school with Meno. He was one of my best friends. Oh, God's ways are so awesome, past finding out. I wish my father had returned to Israel. If your mother hadn't remarried, he would have returned sooner. She didn't remarry. She divorced him, but she didn't remarry. Oh, I wish Hezi had known that. On the telephone... Some time ago, my father told me he had at last found the way to God. Can you tell me the way he found? Sometime later, a friend of mine brought Hezzy's daughter and son-in-law to America to study the Bible. While living and studying in North Carolina, Hezzy's daughter professed faith in our Messiah. Hezzy's faith is still bearing fruit. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Listening friend, do you have a relationship with the one who created the universe, the same one who gave his son for you? You're missing the whole purpose of life if you don't know the Savior. Jesus said, The thief cometh not but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. You can have abundant life now by turning to the Lord Jesus Christ. There are no special words, because God sees your heart. Repent of your sins. Ask his forgiveness for your sin. Ask him to save you. If you need help in making this crucial decision, get in touch with Pacific Garden Mission, 1458 South Canal Street, Chicago, Illinois, 60607. The telephone number in Chicago, 312-492-9410. Our email address, unshackled at pgm.org. Visit our website to learn more about this ministry, unshackled.org. A listener emailed us, I love your radio show. We hope you let the manager of this radio station know what these dramas mean to you. Call or write to say thanks for broadcasting Unshackled. This is program number 3196. Unshackled is produced by Pacific Garden Mission to show through true stories that if your life is empty... It can be filled overflowing. We hope you take a moment to let us know you listen. The address, Pacific Garden Mission, 1458 South Canal Street, Chicago, Illinois, 60607. You may call Pacific Garden Mission in Chicago and talk with someone who cares. 312-492-9410. Someone is waiting for your call. 312-492-9410.